the fiesta. We uh, did some grinding and we did a little bit of advancing since last stream. As you can see we are on to the second world and out of x Death's castle. I did quite a bit of grinding on high speed and um, a few of the next few errands in the game getting into the second world. So, we're gonna kick it off on stream going this way. There we go. Should get the right uh, the right rods on everybody. That's a lot to take it out. Excellent. Let me go ahead and get Thunder Rods on these guys, too. Alright, there we go. So, probably a little bit shorter stream today than, uh, than I will do sometimes. But I did want to uh, kick back and relax a little bit, and there's no better way for me to do that than uh, having a stream. So here we are. If you tune in, let me know. Give me a shout in chat. Always love to hear from folks when they tune in. I was grinding and uh, going through cutscenes. I was making generous use of the uh, fast forward button on the emulator. I mapped the fast forward feature to uh, one of the keys on my controller. So it's nice to be able to uh, make that happen, hook that up. Hope that this takes them both out so I don't have to cast the other one. Yep. Cool. It sure does. Alright, here comes the Gilgamesh battle. Also should be fairly straightforward. Because I'm a bit power leveled. Mostly because I was grinding for money. But I ended up power leveling. Without really meaning to. Although it is nice to be able to just kind of plow your way through big chunks of the game. There you go. Gilgamesh is uh, in old status now. That's nice. His levels start dropping. So his damage will start going down. I guess just so nobody misses out on anything. There's jump. And he does have shell now, which is kind of yucky. Protect also. Also a bit yucky. Oops. Heal staff. Get himself here first. I'm hoping to not have to break a rod on him. 
But if I get desperate, I always can. If I get really desperate. Break that rod. Healing up with the heal staff. Ooh, missing on the Ancient Sword. Don't like that hit rate. Don't like that hit rate or and his evade, of course. Also having to deal with that is unfortunate. Oh, whoops. Oh, shoot, that was the healing staff. On Gilgamesh, didn't mean to do that. That was Bonehead. Didn't help that I healed him on one of these turns. That certainly didn't help. There we go. Finally. All right. I might just hustle out of here, save myself a, a healing item. Because Lena still has plenty of MP left to cast these spells. Oh, all right. But I see Neo Galura. He's gonna absorb my thunder. That's okay. Nice to get her into old status. Take a smack at it. We go. All right, bridge complete. We are blasted away to another continent. Yes, goodbye this continent. Hello next time. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Get through this cutscene. All right. Let's head over to uh, to the town. Regal and it's up, not down, to get over these mountains. I always forget, but this time, not gonna forget how to get over those mountains. So not a bad battle with Gilgamesh. I could have I could have broken rods and made it go a lot more quickly. 
And I don't really need to play it all that conservatively. Because I have plenty of rods. But, uh, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to play it safe. And just use my Thundara. Alright. So it is nice to speed up these, the sleeping segments. Two with my uh, L2 button mapped to speed up. So these cutscenes go by a lot more quickly. It's like my chat's disconnected. Let's see if I can reconnect on my chat. Still don't know if it's reconnected. So if you're tuning in and chatting and I'm ignoring you, it's not because I'm ignoring you. <laughs> because I can't see you. All right, cutscene complete. One of these towns, I can't remember which one it is. Um, you have to pick up the spell Toad, and I hope I haven't missed it. So you have to learn it from a town of mages. And I hope I haven't missed it, but I don't think I have. I think it's a little later on in this world. So I don't know what is new here. Okay, all these are good. And I'm going to need money for all of them. And that's all the time mage spells. I knew I was going to have a lot of shopping to do here. Yep, Sleep Blade would be good. Alright, so it looks like I'll have just a little bit of money grinding to do right outside of town here. Gold Helmet I can finally get, and Wizard Tat I can get for those guys. And Gaia Gear for them. So lots, lots of shopping to do in this town. Where am I at here? All right, Thunder Rod. Thunder Rod. Thunder Rod. All right. Just gonna fight a few battles outside of town to get enough money to buy the things that I need here, because I won't be back to this town for a while until I'm finished with the Moogle Village. try one of these other elements. I can't remember if these guys are weak to anything specifically. I 
not so much on the fire. Yeah, nope. It's gonna be thunder. What kind of money we're looking at? They give pretty decent money. So there shouldn't be too many battles with these guys before I've got enough money for the spells. Twelve hundred they give. All right, that's good to know. I want it. Cool. I should have been using that with Gilgamesh before. Probably. The shield wasn't doing me much good. The shield was not helping me block the things that I wanted to block. There we go. Help to have him turned into a damage machine like that. Because I should have saved some money coming in here, but I wanted to get a flame ring when I was still back in the first world. So I went ahead and picked one up. I'm just going to get out of here. Not worth it. Not worth it. I'm still having problems connecting to my chat. So if you're watching and, and chatting, I'm not ignoring you. Uh, I just can't see anything that's on my chat. It's just having a tough time connecting for whatever reason. I don't know why. So I'm sorry if you're tuning in. Tuning in to watch me grind. As fun as that as that must be. Grinding will be over soon. Just until I have enough money to upgrade my equipment. go. Alright, so I'm going to rest up. Come on. So I'm still using my speed up button. I mapped it to uh, one of my controller keys. 
So scenes like the sleeping scene or, or any cutscenes that come up, I can just hold down my, uh, my L2 key and just let that be enough. Yeah, that's a pretty big chunk up. I'm not going to buy another one for the Red Mage, I don't think. At this point. This juncture. And I'm just not going to deal with these guys. Where are my levels? 22... Nice uh, weapon upgrade really made a difference there. Excellent. Alright. I'm gonna use their little transfusion attack, whatever that is, that's nice. Fusion. But then none of the other ones actually use that uh, the second part of that attack. In that in that random battle at least. None of the other ones use the second part of their transfusion. I'm also getting some chicken knife charging in. Did you see? Eleven hundred, nice. That's a nice chunk. That's a nice chunk. Here, just go. Just do it. try to pick up the wizard hats next because I think they have a magic boost which will help make these battles go a little more quickly getting a little magic boost from them because even a couple points of magic can sometimes get you another multiplier which makes a big difference yeah I'm going to try get a couple of those wizard hats Forgot you can't go through that way. Yes, that gives me an extra point of magic. Oops. Yeah, this takes away a point of strength, but it gives me that... Uh, I'm sell my plumed hat. Oh, my mitral shield. Don't need that. Don't need the moon ring blade. I don't need the giant drinks. Yeah, sell those off. Let me 
see how much that point of magic difference helps with my damage here. I don't know if it actually is going to give any of them another multiplier, but it could. And if it does, that's a big step up. Oh! Ouch for Ferris. My knight. A little more experience for the scrubs, I guess. By the scrubs, I mean... my powerful mages. Smoking guys. There we go. Oh, that's how, that's right, transfusion finally worked in their favor. Gave them the little uh, hit point boost that they were looking for. They didn't do the transfusion just around the chain to lose everybody. They finally got that hit point boost. I'm gonna do it on money. I think I may just come back after I've done a little bit more. I've got Drain. Let's pick up Break for now. And let's head on. Lots of, lots of shopping I can yet do. And I'll fight these battles while we're going over to the Moogle Forest. Saving in case I run into one of those Kuza monsters down here. Because they can wipe me out with a smile. Those Kuza monsters. They are nasty. I'd like to be at a point where I could just take them out with that many Thundara spells. See what this can do. Still nothing, huh? Let's see if one more does it. There you go. Except he had nobody to uh, transfer his hit points to, which is fine, of course. All right, I think we're safely past the castle. No, we are not. Oh, that was nice to get out of there. That was nice to get out of that mess. Oh, didn't know you could still fight these guys down here on the plains. Excellent. I know I'm going to get another, uh, the third level black spells here soon. So I'm going to meet the Moogle. We get to rescue him from his cave, and there's some cash down there I can grab. Alright, here we go. 
Yep, this takes me on my own. See if these guys go down easily to thunder, they sure do. There we go. There's that level for Ferris that she's been waiting for. Excellent. Yeah, I think I may I may treat this dungeon, I may fight the battles going through this dungeon. Do you still have the healing? Yes. I just put that on and why am I checking? Why am I checking? See if, yeah, these guys are weak too. Excellent. So that should be it. Cool. Cool. Slime with high defense. Awesome. Awesome. That's okay, though. See if this will do it. Not quite, huh? I think I'm gonna save some MP for this dragon dude. That did it. Ooh, not much in the by way of experience, so. Unfortunately. There we go. I don't like these slimes as much. I don't want to deal with the slimes. Alright, and I think we take on the dinosaur up here. And I'll just go for it now. I'm just going to cheese it with a phoenix down. Yeah, let's see if I can get a rise to hit. Fire, I can get raise, I should say. If I can get that to hit, that would be great. Cool. Save the money of the phoenix down. Excellent. You just saved me a thousand... Thousand Gill. Cheese through the uh, the cutscene. You get to watch the uh, Moogle demonstrate how to get through the uh, the path to the Moogle Village. It says no desert. I know the music sounds funny because I'm fast forwarding. Basically, you just have to take this path and you won't get in random battles with really nasties in the desert. Basically, that's it. 
If you take the path that he shows you... No random battles. With super nasty... I don't remember if it's chimeras or manticores or what is in the desert. Something, something nasty is in there. But, you just stay out of it, no problem. I'm getting kind of dangerously close there. I need to watch it. It'd be embarrassing to take a game over for something like that. Not better? Is it this? Yes. Alright. Just a couple things to do in the Moogle Village before we get our next cutscene. I'm having some problems with my chat loading, so if you're tuned in and you're trying to chat, uh, I'm not ignoring you, I just can't see you. My chat's been having problems loading today. And I'm not a experienced Twitch expert. And I don't really feel like loading my Twitch dashboard up again while I'm streaming. And, uh and reloading the chat because that would take a long time on stream we get a moogle costume I got the dancing dagger which is a really nice uh, upgrade let's talk to this moogle and he gives me another elf cape this is elf cape number three Now I just wait for the Moogle to pop back out of his door here. Oh, and we're good. Good to continue. Got some more cutscenes here as the Moogle communicates telepathically. Okay, it looks like I can connect with chat. Looks like I can connect. So, at least to me, it looks like I'm connected to chat. If it doesn't uh, look that way to you, I am very sorry. So we get uh, rescued by another brave wind drake. Making the noble sacrifice on our behalf. Oh, look at the Moogle's face. How cute. Go back to regular speed now. I do like this music. I do like this music. Bye bye, Moogle. Bye bye. Cool. Does it take me right to the castle? Okay, I think it does. Yep, it does take me right to the castle. No problem. A couple of errands to run here in uh, Ball Castle. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that I would be getting the dancing dagger and the and there's a great sword 
up in the uh, in the castle here soon, so I skipped the other sleep sword, buying the other sleep sword, but I do want that for later, for use later, possibly. See if I can get through some of these cutscenes here, too. To find out that Galeth is a king. Cool. Hero drink, and then this is float. Or not, sorry, it's teleport, it's exit. Float is later. Float is in Surgate Castle. So I'm going to trigger the next cutscene with uh, Kara the granddaughter and the wind drake which gives us our next quest i'm not going to go on the quest just yet though i have a couple of things to grab here in the castle before we leave but i'm just going to trigger it while i'm while i'm triggering cutscenes and working through them dragon grass we need to go get from the north tower which is through that village of kelb So a few things just to grab here in the castle. Alright, I don't need anything in the basement there. I do need to hop into the water. And get, there's a uh, great sword on the other side of the castle. I can double my dash speed by speeding up the emulator. So I'm going to plow through because the sword is all the way back here. Gets down here. Yes. Found the great sword lying in the water. So it's a big upgrade in strength, but no, um, no status. But now my red mage has a choice of the, the dancing dagger, the sleep blade, the ancient sword, the mage masher. He has a number of status giving weapons to choose from. And also my black mages have the choice of the of dancing dagger and uh, main gauche and a few other things like that. So I'm pretty well stocked for status giving items, which is nice. Hurry through that. Excellent. Alright. And with the item shop, I'm going to get a couple secret things in the item shop. The angel robe, which I can sell. Yep, yeah, okay. And I get a Lamia heart from one of these guys after a kind of a comical cutscene with your character. Here we go. Can't use either of those items with any of the characters I have, but they make nice cell bait. The angel robe is a strange one that's a, it's a chemist weapon. Okay, so he has the same choice um, open here. What can I sell? Oh, I'll get rid of these two while I'm here. Oh, and I don't need that dark matter. Have no use for that. And these and those. Just clear those out of my inventory. Angel Rogue gets a nice chunk. Mithril armor, not a whole lot. Give me a heart. Another not bad chunk. Not a bad chunk. 
That's better, though. Okay, so here's where I can buy my golden helmet. Um, those guys all have wizard hats. Oh, and I can get the Gaia gear for them. I think that may also even um, bump up my magic. I know it strengthens your, your earth attack. Oops. Nope, it does not um, strengthen your magic. That's okay. So I've got the silence protection from those, so I will save that for now anyway. And you know what I need to figure out sometime is what... what he can and can't cast. I don't want to buy. I don't think he can cast Blink. I don't want to buy any high-level spells that uh, my Red Mage is not going to be able to cast. I think that would be a very silly idea. Um, I do need some Holy Waters for the upcoming few battles, and I'm going to grab a few cottages as well, just to kind of get things started. I have a good number of ethers. Good number of Phoenix Downs potions. I could use a bunch of high potions, though. So, maybe that many to start. Alright. I think I'm finished with Ball Castle for now. I'm going to need some of that money. Because Kelb has a few things that I want, especially the Venom Rods. Particularly a couple of Venom Rods. Seems like World 2 is quite cutscene heavy. That's right, this weird abductor battle. A nice chunk of damage from the back row. That's a nice chunk of damage from the front row. That'll do it. Now on we go up to Kel. This is the werewolf village. I do have to remember to rest here in Kelb when I get the opportunity. Got to talk to Kelgar first. There we go. You've got to just come in and try to try to leave his house before you trigger this ambush by his buddies, his werewolf buddies. And I'm going to be fast-forwarding through most or all of the cutscenes for the rest of the game, even on stream. Now, while I'm streaming, my computer isn't able to actually get the emulator going quite as quickly as when I'm not streaming. It's not able to quite keep pace, but it does save some time on a lot of these scenes that I've seen several times now between watching Puexel and Dragon Dark in the run, and then my own, this is the third time through now in about three weeks. And I know some players are going even farther and faster. Because they're more knowledgeable than me, and they have more time in the day to play than I do. Mostly the more knowledge. If you're really good at this game, you can really blast through. And I'm not as worried now that I've gotten two complete game streams finished. I'm not as worried about getting every moment um, of story caught on stream. So I, that's why I felt okay just playing through the rest of the first world off stream. Because I 
didn't have time to set up my whole streaming setup with my uh, ice block on the computer and everything else that I use. Didn't have time to set that all up. So, uh, I did record them locally and upload them to YouTube. So I do have them archived when, when I went through story, story hooks. But uh, that's not, I don't know if me or anyone will ever go back and just watch a casual playing through of the Fiesta that's uh, not highlighted. And it's a lot more difficult to highlight videos that you upload to YouTube than uh, it is for your Twitch highlights. At least from my limited experience with the YouTube video editor, I like Twitch being able to just squeeze a segment out of your full run. <coughs> Now, did I get an invisible heal? No, I didn't. So, in first. Charging me 60 to stay at the end. That's an expensive in. So, in this stream, I'm hoping to... Uh, possibly get to... Um, the barrier tower. Um, and I may do some grinding for a reflect ring, because I would like to get at least one reflect ring. It's going to be all the same spells. We have for that. Okay. Doesn't give me the magic boost. All right, I'm gonna hold on to that. I do like my magic boost for now. I do like my magic boost for now. Um, I don't think I have anything. I, oh, I can I can sell that helmet. I can sell the old mithril helmet. Mithril helmet. There we go. Can't get much for them. Alright, I might just get that armor later. On my way back. Because I'll need some venom rods anyway. And that's all the same. Okay. Alright, cool. I'm ready to take on uh, Drakenvale. Whoops, I went out of town on the wrong, the wrong side. All right. Cursed being. I'm gonna see a lot of. Uh, that sprite when we go on to the pyramid. Not looking forward to it. Not looking forward to that at all. This is a rather quick dungeon. Outdoor dungeon. Much like the, the North Mountain in the First World, we're on the same mission. Same quest. I don't... I don't need dragon fangs from any of these guys. I don't need to pick up anything special here. There isn't much, anyway. I've got the bone mail coming up. But that's really the only important piece. Is the bone mail.
and I know where that is. Although the casual player would have a really, really difficult time finding the bone mail. I, I think. Okay, a casual player would never find it because it's just stuck in a in a rib cage, sitting in the middle of the middle of the screen. This is my chance to save Golem. Not gonna. Oh, is it that one? That one. Oh, I've got to do this little mini puzzle here. Okay, I gotta fall to the floor first. If I remember, yep, fall to the floor. There's a treasure chest down here, yep. Now I can go up and wrap around. Come out this way, which closes behind me, but now my way is clear to go through. A couple treasures on this side. I think one of them's a katana. I don't remember what the other one is. Wind slash on oh, hypno crown. Is that an upgrade from any of these guys? Yep, it's a little little boost from the wizard hat. Little boost from the wizard hat. There's a save point up here at the bottom of these steps, which I will avail myself of the save point. Overshot the steps a little bit. It's okay. I spent way too much time grinding in this dungeon in my first run when I had a chemist. And I was getting uh, dragon fangs and dark matters from the, uh, the zombie dragons. Don't want to deal with that again. Alright, let's get fire rods on everybody. This way. And I don't need to worry about rescuing Golem, although on a casual playthrough, that's uh, a must-do. Getting Golem. He becomes very, very handy during a lot of boss fights later on. I won't have access to him in this run-through. What the crap was that, says... But, Bart... All right, here we go. It is the plant. Hmm. I did not... didn't know that fire wouldn't do anything to it. Okay. Poison it is. Poison it is. Bio it is. Excellent. I don't think this guy can cast bio. He can cast poison. He can't cast bio, though. Which is okay. Because Ferris the Knight is doing mad damage. What's a single target bio look like? Not so bad. Nice little chunk. I'll put my dancing dagger back on. And hope for a sword dance. Alright, I'll get some MP. No problem. There we are. 
And one more bio. Regular attack. <clears throat> That's a nice chunk that Ferris is getting from the uh, the Great Sword. That translates to an Epe in the Super NES fan translation. That's a nice chunk she's getting, though. I like it. If I can get a sword dance on one of these, that'd be nice. It's okay, though. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Now, because I don't have exit, I have to walk out of this of this little outdoor dungeon. Which is inconvenient. This is the first run of my fiesta where I don't have a time mage. So I can't exit out of dungeons like this. I just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Just walk all the way out. It's alright, though. It's alright. After this, I'll have my, uh, my dragon, Wind Drake. I came from up there, the other side. And that's my chance to uh, save Golem again, but he's gonna have to just eat it. Sorry, Golem. I don't have time to rescue you. So there's him on his own. Well, I've already seen him labeled Golem, so I don't know why he's got uh, question marks. Oh well, something they, they overlooked. They probably expected me to save him by now. You're supposed to encounter him as question marks first, and then golem when he's with the uh, the two zombie dragons, or the zombie dragon and the bone dragon, I should say. Just so there's no confusion. That's the zombie dragon, the other ones are bone dragons. The long walk back down the mountain. This is more like a traditional RPG. This is like a paper and pencil RPG. We are walking down the whole mountain. All right. Back to Kelb. I'm gonna buy a little bit. There we go. Buy a few things. And some venom rods. Nope, oh, not here. Get two to start. So I don't equip them very often. All right, and that keeps my yeah gives me strength up, one less agility. Okay, he's doing pretty good in that regard. At least for now. We have kind of a comical scene here in Ball Castle, where we have to swim back into the castle.
This is the same way that I got into the castle earlier. After I got the uh, great sword or the epee from up in the corner. Now I've got to go back up and talk to Kara. Or Krile. Or Krilly. Or whatever you call her. Whatever her name is. Got to go to Guido's cave, get that to sink. My notes here I wrote Ball Castle, Kara, Guido's cave, Sergei Castle, <laughs> reshelve the book and Sergei Castle. So we're just we're kind of on little fetch missions here now, with lots of cutscenes in between. Our next big target is going to be that barrier tar tower. And I think today on stream I will I will get to the barrier tower um, and try to grind for a reflect ring. And that might that might be all I can stream today. And I may begin next stream with uh, the ascent of the barrier tower and the battle with uh, Atomos. <coughs> Unless my other errands here go really quickly, and unless I get some lucky Reflect Ring drops right away from the Reflect Knights. But I've got my, I got my chillin' out of the way today, I feel. I wanted to relax with the stream, and relax I have. My speed is all over the place because I'm trying to speed up through the cutscene. My emulator can't quite go very fast while my computer is streaming. It tries, but it uh, isn't as good as it used to be. So Guido's Cave first, where it will sink before we can actually get in there. And let's see if I can remember how to get there. Because this second world has some really strange, yeah, has some really strange bottlenecks with these mountains. And I know they're trying to keep you from going places that you're not supposed to go too early, but it makes it pretty frustrating. When you I know where Guido's Cave is. I just need to find the one square wide place that I need to go. Guido's Cave up it's right on this island. Right there. Alright. So we have a cutscene here where the cave starts to sink. We'll let that happen and then we have to go over to Sergate Castle. We have a couple treasures we need to pick up there. Death cutscene here. Alright. Surgate Castle. Where you at? Right there. There's a song in there. Oh, 
Yep, that's the sealed book. Here's where I reshelved these books. Yep. Weird Ronka. You find the W. W up here. Nope. Register of Monsters. R. Nope. Yes. Forbidden Book. Was D your F here? Yes, it was. All right, now she unlocks the way to go on. Gets me float, and it gets some money, too, I think. There's a, uh, a cash chest open to me. There it is. Yeah, buddy. All right, and then, yeah, Float is up here. I don't really need it, I can't use it, but there it is. There's Float. And I think that's all for Sergate Castle. I think that's it. For Sergate. For me. I think that's all I can do. So, time to head over. Oh, there's some, yeah, there's some shops here, but I think they're the same shops that I've had available to me before. But I might as well rest up, because I am missing a little bit of hit points. So next it's going to be landing over on King Ziza's ship. I've got a battle with uh, Gilgamesh and Enkidu. That's not too difficult. Enkidu, I think, is not heavy, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to use Break on him. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it. If not, I think. Oops, I want my map. bridge, and there's the fleet. All right, here we go. Got some talking here with the king. Then we have to go find the king and talk to him again after we fight some battles here. My bad. So here's where we take a rest. Yeah, so I guess I didn't need that in. I forgot I have this heal before the uh, before the cutscene here in the in the battle. We get the Gilgamesh music. That's how we know it's a Gilgamesh battle coming up. Sweet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Still got the Dancing Dagger. Ooh, Jitterbug. It's not a bad attack. That should take that one down. 
thousand, thousand gil from the uh, gobbledygook, huh? So I'm just speeding through the cutscenes a little bit here. Here's Gilgamesh, harshing my buzz. Sorry, Gilga. Oh, look at that. Blocked right there. Nice. Actually, I might just have him try to get a sword dance with the dancing dagger. And he can do our healing for us. Do we still have... Oh, we have flame rods on. All right. You too? Yeah. That was not huge. Nice. Good to see. 1060 on the uh, FA two-handed knight attack. That's really great. I like this knight class. Got a lot going for it. Alright, there's Enkidu. Yeah, white wind, that's annoying. But what you're gonna do, I'd like a sword dance. Tempting Tango's not bad, I guess, but I'd like the sword dance. Um, alright, let's see if Break can hit him. I'm not sure it can, but I'm gonna try just a couple. Jitterbug? No? Alright. That's not bad. Oh, missile, that's not fun. Alright. That's enough break attempts, I suppose. We'll just go right right to uh, magic blasting power. We'll just get him the old fashioned way. Sword dance, there we go. That's what I've been looking for. Like these big hits. Ooh, is that... Oh, that's level half. Ooh, okay. No, nope. Tempting Tango's not a good one to use in this battle. Against boss enemies. Tempting Tango not so effective. And I can see the level half really took a big chunk out of his magic damage. There we go. That's okay, because... Ooh, that's a tough miss to take. That's a tough miss. I like the elf cape there. Blocking everything. Sword dancing. Alright, Mystery Waltz. Got some MP back. There we go. Alright, gold shield. Not so bad. You could sell bait later. I've already got one, and I won't be using it too much later. I'll be picking up some really nice equipment here for the night soon. Flame shields and ice shields.
That pyramid is nice for treasure. It's an irritating dungeon, but it is nice for treasure. Alright, now I've got to go see the king again. King's on this side this time. Let's see if I can skip the first part. Yeah, I can. Just grab the other side of that. Excellent. Normally you have to talk to the king, or you can talk to the king, and he says, grab the other side of this thing, would you? But, if you're in the middle of a fiesta, and you've been playing this multiple times, then you know right away. So right away there's, there's a blood sword, that's a knight sword, right inside the front door of the barrier tower. That's a really nice weapon to pick up that's guarded by a dragon. And then up towards the top, there's the gold hairpin, which is another really nice piece of equipment that haps your MP usage by your mages during battle, which is also nice. So now that we're at the barrier tower, I'm going to spend, whoops, I'm going to spend probably the rest of the stream grinding for a reflector ring from uh, Reflect Knights. It's possible if I get a good drop really early, I may I may go up and take on Atmos on the early side. Get through this text. Kind of a neat sequence. You climb up while he climbs down into the basement of the barrier tower. And I don't want these guys. I'm going to grab that blood sword. And I'm going to hope for a red dragon and not two yellow dragons. The, the red dragon could drop excellence. Well, not as not as fun. And here's where I'm going to need some physical attacks from my mages. Because the Reflect Knights, as their name implies, are all going to have Reflect on themselves all the time. Also, the effects of those, those daggers are going to get reflected too. Excellent. Or not. Excellent. Mostly not excellent. I need to see if I can get a little bit better attack power. Right, let's see what he does with that. I wonder what he's going to do with that, with charm on. I'm just curious. With the Tempting Tango, what's a Reflect Knight to do with the Tempting Tango? Just a regular attack? Alright. Yeah, no luck on the first draft, that's okay. Alright, here's the, uh, the Blood Sword. So I'm going to get the Frost Rod on everybody. Hope for a red? Yes. And who's going to get healed? Yes. That's fine. That's fine. Oops. Blizzara. Blizzara. That's alright. Not a bad attack for him to use. Blizzara. And one or two more Blizzaras should just about do it. Yep. Blood Sword, excellent. 
that's an excellent addition. So I get a little bit uh, lower on the attack power, but it's a nice uh, magic boost. But for the knight, doesn't help so much. Big chunk of cash. I'm going to go back and uh, hit the submarine because I get free healing back there, and that's why I'm going to be grinding for reflectory. Is getting some, getting free healing from the submarine, and of course the save point right there is nice. Actually, I may just have to run from this battle. Note how to reflect night. I didn't want to be using a lot of time or my resources in a fight like that. Alright, now we'll head up and save and grind a little bit on Reflect Knights. Because I want to be well equipped before we have to go on. So actually I'm going to move my equipment around a little bit. The Sleep Sword on him and get him up there. Get the, uh, the Dancing Dagger on you. And the main gauche for you. Alright, we are saved, and we are grinding. I'm really just equipped mostly for the Reflect Knight, so I guess we can also call this Chicken Knife Charging. We're also Chicken Knife Charging. Let's see how quickly I can take these guys out. Alright. So there we go. Man. Just trying to get out of there. Just trying to get out of there. I'm going to be using pretty generous... I'm going to get pretty generous on the... Um, turbo mode. Alright. Ouch. Ooh, a miss on that, huh? Not good. Alright, let's do it. Perfect. Oh, a back attack on the Reflect Knight. That's... That's ouch. That's ouch. Alright, sweet. Reflect on one of us. Very good, very good. Alright. Um, let me get my mages into the back row. Maybe we can get the sleep effect to hit. And I'll bounce, bounce some spells over at him. That'll work out nice. That's a nice start to a Reflect Knight battle. No drop though.
All right, well, I think it's pretty clear with my timeline today, with how much time I have left, that uh, I'm not going to be clearing out the barrier tower today. Ooh, sleep bounces off of him. Ooh, ouch. That hurts. I need to rethink my equipment choices if sleep bounces off of him and onto us. Ouch. That's painful. Let's see if I can get him sword dance. That's a nice, nice one. Okay. Alright, so without getting one there, I think it's going to be pretty clear that I'm not going to be able to take the barrier tower today on this stream, so I'm going to go ahead and call this a stream. I'll do some more grinding and hopefully by the time I pick up the stream next time I will have a couple of reflect rings in hand, at least one. I'd like to go for at least one. Um, and we can take on the barrier tower and Atmos at the top. So if you tuned in, thank you very much. Um, and I will be back at least one more time this week. Um, and then I may be taking a little bit of a streaming break. But I'll be back at least one more time this week, so we will see you next stream. <laughs>